Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as the Oriatord. Okay, so last episode we went ahead and um did we vassalize them in the last episode? At least we in the last episode we did a war against Korea where we gave where we took our uh, where we made um where we made Korea give back some of the provinces that they have taken from the Manchu. We also sold one of our own provinces because I was too lazy to make a core there. Um and in this episode, we are, I'm going to start my big master plan of awesome, of, um, you know, how to gain a lot of land without having to deal with too much overextension, basically. Uh, and that is through the uh, vassalization of Ming. Although in order to, order to do that, we have to weaken them significantly. And uh, the best way of doing that is to start off by forcing them to uh, release a nation. And I think forcing them to release the Shun, which is this nation right here would be the best option, because they have the most territories. Let's do 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15... While the Xi has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, so a tiny little bit, a little bit more territories for the Shun, so... Um... But I think that will work out. I th or I think that would be the best option to do. So, um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Of course, it will require us to conquer a couple of provinces from the um, from the Ming, for the simple reason that even if we release the Shun, they're still going to be too strong for us to annex. So, or not for us to annex, but for us to vassalize, basically. Uh, how many provinces did the Manchu have? They had they had three provinces. So I would be guessing four or five would be the maximum, and they have ten. So we would have to take actually quite a decent chunk of provinces. We have to take one, two, three, four. Like five of these or something like that in order to take and that's quite expensive. A lot of these provinces are quite valuable, you know, and it's gonna take forever to core them and it's gonna be really expensive. But uh, we are, I mean, we should be able to do it though. Um, technologically, we are still superior to the Chinese. Only the Koreans have caught up with us now. Uh, wow, wow, look at the Uzbeks. They're actually doing very good. Yeah, wow. The, the other hordes are actually either as good as us or better than us. Hmm, interesting. Oh well. But that's fine. Um, how far away am I from... Oh, I'm actually not that far away from gaining a new point in... Um, or for gaining a new technology in administrative. Is there any guys we can recruit at the moment? I will help that out. Um, I guess we'll find him in here. Nope, no guys to do that, so... Okay, never mind then, we'll not we'll not try that. Uh, instead, we'll just start out our war with Ming. So let's do that. Sounds fun. Um, well, I guess... Hmm. One really complicated way I could do this is I could... I don't even know if that would make sense. No, it would make sense. Forget it. I was just going derp there for a moment. Or... No, um, a way to try and o to avoid having to take a bunch of land from the Ming would be to, well, that would be f terribly complicated though, would be to first force them to release the Shun, and then force the Zhao to release the Xi, and then vassalize the Xi and make the Ming give away a bunch of territory to the Xi, and then vassalize the Ming, and then make all the other nations give a bunch of territory to the Ming, and then annex both those two vassals, and bam, loads of territory. That sounds like a terribly complicated plan that would take far too long for me to be able to have patience to do it. No, I much rather like the idea of just blobbing the Ming like crazy. Sounds fun. So let's straight away just declare war on them. They are allied to someone we don't care about, so that's fine. Our manpower is very much okay. We should probably wait a little bit, but I'm impatient. And we don't have too much revolters, do we now? Uh, no, we're doing very fine, actually. Only these provinces, these Muslims over here, are still pissed at me. I cannot do anything to them. How far away are we from? Yeah, no, this missionary is still going to take quite a while, so we can't do anything at the at the moment about that. So that's fine. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, I guess a war against the Ming straight away isn't that bad of an idea, actually. We could be able to handle it because we don't need any of like these three armies. They don't need to hang a hang out in provinces like they did, because I have course on all this now. So, so we should be fine. So I think the way I'm going to do it is... Wow, I need more I need more infantry. I never thought I would say that, but... 
I have a lot of cavalry. I actually have more cavalry in my armies than I have have infantry. How what's my force limit at? Uh, yeah, wow, I have 60 now. I can actually recruit more troops. Okay, nice. Let's do just that then. Fuck. It's gonna hurt my income, but um, I do want myself some men in my armies and stuff. Uh, Asian long spear? No. Eastern archers are still superior. So go ahead and recruit those. Three of them for now. And of course, I forgot to recruit them in places with where I had where I had those fucking um. What are they called now? Workshops? No. Uh, arm race. There you go. Hey, I can build a dock. Sure, let's build a dock. That sounds fun. Dock over here. Uh, yeah, let's make this my port. Like my main port or whatever. Sounds fun. Go. Okay, oh, got a troop there. Just a tiny little bit more strength all over to get some more balance out in the armies. I'll recruit some more later on. But right now I feel like I should just go ahead and invade the Ming before anything silly happens. Let's go. The quicker we do this, the better. Because so we only have so much time in the game, you know, before we have to deal with other stuff. So, um, but I guess one of the very big advantages of fighting like this is that we don't have to spend a lot of points. Of course, we do have to spend a little bit of points, or actually quite a bit. Because in order to vassalize the Ming, we need a bunch of these territories here. To make them weak enough for vassalization, but I, I still hope I still have hope in the Zhao that they will help me out in this and take some more territories from them. That would be very very nice of them to do that. Mm. Yeah, show superiority. So let's do that. Um, clear war. Should call my allies. Yeah, why not? Ayutthaya keep joining, but I don't even know where they are. I have still haven't figured it out. Are you Taya? Seriously, I have no idea where they are. Sean, like, if you look at the map, I believe blue is allied. And I see no blue. Other than the Sean, of course. So I'm guessing they are, like, down here or something like that. I'm guessing maybe they are, like, down here. That's what I'm guessing in Vietnam. Mon should join the war against the Ming. Yeah, no shit they did. Uh, it's kind of silly. Like, I'm... Because the, the reason why I'm allied to them is because they asked me. So I'm... I sh I I'm guess they know I I guess they know I exist, but I don't know they exist. So I don't know something like that. Ooh, I should build a navy. That sounds fun. Can we even do that as a horde? That would be hilarious. Uh, build ship. Yeah, we can build boats. Yeah, let's build boats. That sounds fun. Build a couple of those barks and a cog. Yeah, glorious <laughs> Mongol navy. Wow, yeah, that's the thing that the Mongols never really figured out how to build navies, I guess. Well, they did build quite the navy when they tried to invade Japan, but they failed really badly because of... But, it, you know, to be honest, it's kind of mean to say that to them because they, you know, they didn't fail. It was the weather that failed, if you want to put it like that. So, depends on how you look at things. Anyways. Oh, yeah, so that's where the troops are, okay. I guess this army can go down and deal with that then. Nope, they're escaping. Get back here, you derps. I guess I can just split up these... Split up these armies a little bit as well. Why not? Okay, you go here. I need to start my timer, which I already did, actually. Okay, I didn't know that. That's fine, I'm not complaining. Oh, whoa, yeah. There's something about... Fighting the Chinese, they like, they die so quickly, it's hilarious. It's like they have some modifier or something that just makes it so that they don't have any morale. It was like the the, the armies of Korea was a lot more difficult to fight. Oh, well, they actually have um, the same military technology that I have, so that kind of explains it. Hmm, yeah, I really need to keep blobbing my... Uh, keep. I have to keep increasing my military skill. I think that's by really the most important thing I have at the moment. Because that's the thing that decides whether or not I can keep up with the world. So, I mean, after a while, I'll just have to rely on superior numbers. But if I don't actually have superior numbers, then I can't really rely on it, can I now? Show army. Yep. It's power, legitimacy. I have a decent chunk of legitimacy, so... Nope, I'll lose the legitimacy. 
Don't know in oh yeah, that's an army. Um I guess this army can have like that and same applies for this one. Come on, get there in time. Yay, we got there in time. Great, yeah, yeah, go us! These guys are here as well. I guess I can hunt them. Where are they going? Haifei. I will follow them. That sounds like a plan. No leader, though. That's bad. Oh well. Can't really do anything about that right now. Oh, look at that! No, it's going away! No! The faction right there is one of the most hilarious factions in the history. It's almost like a joke at this point, I feel. Uh, oh, they actually got away, didn't they? Because they, uh, believe it or not, it's, it's it's a tiny little island south of Japan, and they are uh, they they have the government for government form of empire, and they they have one province, and there is a there and that province is a fucking island. Not only that, but um, they their religion is really now. Did I fucking win? I refuse to believe it. That's hilarious. Why don't you just give up, China? You're obviously not. This is this war is obviously not working out for you, is it now? Yeah, so they're they're one island empire with the religion animists. Um, oh no, I, I can't see it, or I believe it's animists. Maybe it's no, I'm pretty confident it's animists, not not shamanists. So, so yeah. Now you know that. I think actually there's a, there's an, there's an achievement for conquering the world as them. I don't know if anybody has ever done that. I'm sure there's some people have done it, figured it out how to do it. I for one have just I don't know, I would I would never have been able to pull that off, seriously. Hey look at our guys. Awesome. His face looks kind of scary, but oh no! And I still won! But I can't I can't reach the goddamn army! We go with fucking Finally won, now we can move on. Go to there. But still, this is silly. I can't seem to reach his army to kill it off. Oh crap. What? Aren't you patriots? Bullshit, I have course on this place. What are you talking about? Stop. Oh, this uh, this one is actually Mongol, huh? I didn't know. Oh, I, I, oh, for I. I guess I actually started out. Oh, this was actually a Mongol Khanate province before, I think. Yeah, that, that explains it. I'll take some of these armies to deal with that rev revolt once I'm. There you go, finally I caught them. I got that one. Yeah, yeah, I guess these guys can just move on, and then these two armies will deal with that rebellion. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Do it like that! There we go, that'll be the death of that one. They're going to this one, I think, so we'll just follow them. The last claim, okay. Not that I care. Hanyang. I I'm gonna keep following them, I'm gonna kill them, seriously. They shall not survive. I do not accept their survival. Hey, our navy has been built! Fuck yeah! Lol, 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 lol. Oh, did I kill them? Or maybe, I don't even, I don't know. Let's go over here then. And uh, make an attack on these guys. Hey, we took another province. Hooray, go us. Now let's go there and there. And then once these sieges are done, I or this siege is done, I will. Um, oh, I took another province. Go there. Yeah, once this siege here is done, I will go over there and kill those rebels. Kill them! Kill them with fire! Okay, let's put general. Oh, I don't have any generals, do I now? Hmm. Okay. I guess I kind of have to recruit one, don't I? Let's take a look at the military tab. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, it's my leader. Uh, oh well. Can't hurt to have one more general. Oh, whoa, he's actually quite awesome. Awesome. I like it. Any good missions yet? Nope, no good missions. Why can't I get a mission like, uh, like vassalize the Koreans or force convert the uh, Bengalians or something like that? Like, that's the thing I need. That's the thing I want. But no. You want me to become friends with Chagtai? Chagtai, a fucking vassal of the Timurids. What does my, like, what would I achieve with that? I need my diplomats to improve relations with the Manchus. 
Oh, they actually love me. Huh. Would you look at that? I guess I don't need to improve relations anymore then. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Just having just to have him hang out there. I don't use him for anything else. Just make him improve relations so that once we once the area is at least forty ninety, that's when we can begin our process of an annexing them. I want to annex them before I start the whole process of, you know, vassalizing the Ming. Because you get a penalty for annexing vassals uh, while you have more than one vassal, basically. Peace from Lakchang. They will annul all treaties with the Ming, that's good. They will pay money. This will not end yet. They're merely negotiating the enforcement. Yeah, sure. If you, if you think this sounds like a good idea, I would love your money. Prestige and... yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> I don't see why they would want to do that, but... Um, they could have offered a white piece and I would have accepted, but I guess they didn't know that, so... Good for me. Speed of succession. Hmm, I guess I... I could start claiming thrones, but playing as a horde, that's kind of silly, because claiming thrones is a... I guess it's, it can be a decent way to gain more land and, you know, to create personal units, unions and that kind of stuff. Uh, Nanyang. No, where are you going? Yichuan. That'll be that place, I'll follow. What? Hey, it's Ayutthaya, yeah, they have the elephant, um... The elephant symbol. Uh, so I believe they're down here. I believe they're pretty much like Thailand or something like that. I don't I don't know perfectly. Hanyang, okay. I'll follow. I will hunt thee down. Come on. Nope. Didn't reach it. Oh, well, I can I can keep running. Uh, hey, we took the province. Now I can kill those rebels. Perfect. Hey, more more legitimacy. Yeah, more legitimacy is finally getting up there. Which is really nice, because that takes away some of the rebel risk. What's my rebellion risk over here anyways? That's really low. Non-accepted culture, yeah, that's a problem. I guess I want to make sure that I... Oh, they're... St oh, okay. They're not my religion, are they? So I guess uh, next on the line will be these two promises to convert. That's okay, I guess. Hey, the monsters are actually helping me. That's good. Now this army can start moving on as well. Keeping taking more territory. Okay, let's kill up this army. Good, now this army can also start going up here and I can start splitting it up to make sieges more easy. Okay, you go there I guess. Uh, you... I don't even know where you're going. I don't want to go through there. I, I, I like that they're hanging out there so I'm just going to let them do just that. Like so. Okay, I guess there's a couple of promises here I'm not sieging then, but that's fine. Once these sieges are done, I will send them down there. Okay, let's, let's just do it like this. I guess I could split them up even more, couldn't I? I should probably do that. Because so far in this game I have learned that it's actually a good thing to do that. Let's do that. They shouldn't have any army strong enough to actually do anything about it. Okay, they can hang up there. So, yeah, once we get these sieges, we should win the war. And they're just going up there to siege. Stupid. Alliance from Sean. What? We are not longer allied. Why do you? Why did you break my alliance? Stupid derp. Of course we'll be allies. You. You're a good friend. Uh, the one in the only people in the world that want to, that want to ally me, with the exception of exception of the um, Ayutthaya down here. But nobody knows about them, so nobody cares. <laughs> so I think about it anyways. Oh! Oh! Ayutthaya is actually occupying some provinces, wow. Okay, we took a couple more provinces. Now this army can go there. This army can go there, I guess, why not? Would they actually accept my demands right now? They would. Could I? Uh, no, I can't take promise and promises and... But you can see how that reduces the um, total cost for... Uh... Oh, I guess it doesn't actually reduce the cost for vassalization. Uh, oh well. That's fine for now. Yeah. Force them to release Shun. Perfect. Let's do that. 
Send demand. And kablam! Shun is now an Asian. Now we just have to wait for the Ming, or the truce with the Ming to go out, and then we'll repeat the process. Keep declaring war, keep weakening them, until we can vassalize them. And then, my friends, and then... Then things will be awesome. Okay, let's start getting our armies back in position. Something like this. We gain a claim, not that I care, because it's belly. Sure. Where are you going? You shouldn't be going there. That's silly. I don't even know where these guys are going. You go there. Okay, they're going there. I want to balance my armies out again. Conquest against them, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we have. It's just that I don't care. And diplomatic power or Monchu's opinion? Is that a permanent, um, permanent boost? But they love us very much, but... Uh, I guess if I keep expanding like this, I should make sure to take an opportunity to get a bonus to my opinion. Especially if that's permanent. So, only two years now and we can begin our process of uh, annexing them, I believe. So that will be nice. Also conversion coming along. Nicely, good. Okay, we have some armies down here. Yeah, I guess we, yeah, we did recruit a little bit more people, didn't we? 7, 4. 5, 6. Yeah. So, I'll split off some cavalry to go there. The infantry can go there, I believe. They, yep, they're the one with far too much cavalry in it. And this army can go there and I'll deal with it later. I guess I should found another army, but I'm actually making money now and I don't need any more armies, so I don't really think I should. If I ever come in a position where I want... Oh, look at my power! I'm, I'm very... Ah, I can invest just straight away! Quick thing I always want to check though... Oh, no, no, no! Why? What happened to my advisor? No, he went away! Fuck! That's bad. It's really bad. No, I need that conversion guy. That was the only thing making this conversion stuff here possible. Now it takes forever. Ah, uh, that's why I'm making so much money. Oh well, let's invest. Yo, we can get an idea. Yeah, awesome. We're currently working on increasing these technologies as well. Okay, we can get an, another idea. The next will happen at level seven. That's pretty much what I'm looking forward to, because once I get reached level 7, I can start taking ideas I actually want, and not ideas that I have to take purely because I I need the uh, I need the technology to reform my government. From the government, there we go. I need um I need comp I need to complete economic ideas. Um so uh, I need to complete either economic, innovative or administrative ideas. So let's go ahead and find ourselves an idea. So, either innovative, administrative, or economic. And so, this will give us more or less mercenary costs, mercenary maintenance, that will, those are worthless. Those are, that's worthless, that's worthless. That's kind of good, I guess, not anything good. Yeah, so, admin administrative is actually super way useless. Uh, if there was something here that would, like, give you more points every month or whatever, then I would take it, but... No, not like this. This is the thing I need, you know. Additional colonists, merchants, foster colonists, um, diplomatic relations. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Because that would allow me to call. That's 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 the main thing I want, you know. Actually, because I want to colonize these provinces up here in the north. Before the Russians come around and do the same. But if I'm ever going to reach the point where I can reform my government, I pretty much have to. Um, I pretty much have to do the. Um, one of these ideas, don't I? Yeah. Innovative ideas. Less prestige decay, mercenary cost, technology cost. Now that's good. Scientific revolution. Army tradition is good. Recruitment time is okay. Work exhaustion and leaders. I guess, uh, but this though. Build cost, inflation reduction, interest, advisors. Man. So annoying that you have to take one of these things. I wish you could like, 
At least there was something over here, cause so that I could spend diplomatic points on increasing it rather than administrative. That's so annoying. Uh, I don't know. What 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 what's going to be the best there? I can't even take religious ideas, cause that would be so much more awesome. Cause it would give me more missionaries. Like these the 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 things that they force me to take are so bad. Oh my god. Who would ever take this shit? Seriously, who the fuck would ever take this crap? This is useless. This is trash. That's what it is. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Maybe this one? Optimism? Kind of like this, although having that 10% tax would be good and building costs. But money, the thing is that money, money is not really, not really the problem here. It really is not. Money has never been a problem, so none of these things are actually necessary. Smithian economics. Nah. I'm th maybe thinking even in 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 innovative, just to get the scientific revolution. So we get lower costs for technology. And all of these bonuses are okay, I guess, so... So yeah. Uh, let's just let's just decide on that in the next episode, I think. I don't know. I like I like postponing things, that's how I roll. That is simply how I roll. Conquest against Korea. I guess we have. Um How many? Five, six. That's balanced, I guess. It's not perfectly balanced, so send the infantry over there, and then the rest can just blob into there, that's fine. Doesn't need to be that accurate. Okay. That that works for now. By the way, what religion became the Oh, the Shun became um they became uh, confusion. That's annoying. I guess we now we now we know what to do next. We have they have a truce with Ming, and they're guaranteed by us. Would that is that gonna prevent us from declaring war on them? No, it won't. Okay, never mind then. So I guess that's what we're going to do next: declare a quick war against the Shun, just to get get them over to the true religion. And uh, once that's done, we can start dealing with other things. So that sounds like a plan. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 as the Oriatord. And until next time, bye.